Welcome on our road to 2000. And we play against someone from Poland, I believe. And we get into this same kind of setup where I simply take the pawn. You can take back with the queen or with the knight. Both are very theoretical lines, but taking back with the knight is most known. And then, yeah, you simply defend the pawn I attack and we enter the knight orf after a6. It's called the knight orf and it's one of the most uh, attacking lines in the Sicilian. Played at the highest level continuously. So there's a lot of theory. Here the knight has some moves. Can go here, here, here. But decides to go here, which is completely fine. Uh, I will develop bishop. I'll develop this bishop. And I will castle. Then and yeah. Play the game. If he wants to go here, then yeah, maybe I could go here, but I don't think this really works. Maybe this even, probably not. I think you should think of developing. He goes there, interesting move, I think. Now this is a juicy square for me, for my knight to end up. And yeah, maybe I'm already already threatening to go d5 here, which I will. Uh, it goes there. Interesting move. Um, think isn't that just a free pawn? I don't think that works. Doesn't look at that it's working. Let's just take. Let's just take. Uh, yeah, it takes... I could also even consider taking like this, but I like to have this pawn defended to go for a push here. So let's take back with the queen. Queen, what if this? Then probably just this. And yeah, I think my knight will simply get back here or here at some point, so that's fine. This is quite good, because I want to defend this pawn anyway. So I'm not too worried about that. Yeah, and I think I can just drop back here. And... Attack the bishop. Why not? Why not? It looks good. And then, yeah, I could go here, I could go, go there. I go everywhere! I go everywhere! I go here, I go there, I go everywhere. What do you think? Where do you go? Which move would you have made? Because I could have gone here, but then I think this looks a bit unpleasant. And then I need to watch out for the defense here. Let me know what you like to play against uh, the first move, e4. What is your... Do you play e5? Do you play Karakan with c6? Do you play the French defense? Do you play... Uh, with e6, do you play the Sicilian also? There's a lot of options, so let me know what you play. I'm very curious to hear all about it. I think this now is a good move, so because ma maybe he wants to go here. But I need to be cautious, right? Maybe this is a move. But I think that I can simply drop back. Or I could even go back here. Yeah, that doesn't really work. If I castle, then what about this move? So let's just make this move. And probably I will just go back here. He goes there. I think I should castle now. And if after this move, then maybe I'll go here or, or, or here and then drop back here. Let's castle. I haven't castled yet. It's important to castle. Bring your king to safety. I finished my development now. And yeah. So likely he wants to get his bishop here. Which looks actually very strong. 
But I think here I have a temple on this pawn. Because after this move, then I take, right? So he needs to ways to move to defend here. And then maybe I already can move my rook here. Um, or even my queen here to also defend this pawn. He goes there. Um, I think this is a good move to play because he wants to put pressure here. What about this move? Doesn't really work, so let's go here. Defend my pawn here. And like I said, after this move, I have to move here. But I need to be mindful of this diagonal, so I need to start moving my rook or my queen. Probably my rook first, because my rook is not really into the game yet. And then, yeah, I think at some point I want to push this pawn here. So I want to get a rook behind it. That's what I thought. So now I think I will go here. To attack this pawn. Because he's starting to go like this. This is still hanging and I can even go back here. He goes there. Now I need to I think I need to move my rook. This pawn is also so it's still this is a threat. So going here and stuff. This might be a bit unpleasant as, as then my knight is uh, does have a lot of good squares, so maybe I should go here. Making room for the knight also. Yeah, let's do that. Then I think the rook will land up here. Maybe this one here. Get some pressure here. And I was also thinking about this move. This looks strong. This looks strong as well. After this move, I think this is a move. Although maybe he could take here to attack this. Hmm. So I might want to drop back also. He is putting some, uh, some nice pressure. So I think he's doing a good job. But I think most likely I will go here. Maybe this is a good move also to work on this pin at some point so maybe queen here was not too accurate maybe i should have gone here instead okay that's definitely a tempo loss so that's good for me by the way this pawn is weak huh so maybe maybe there's some tactics also hmm, no not really let's put the rook here a rook in front of a queen is Always good news. Almost always. Takes and take back and I attack the queen as well. Goes back. I think maybe this is a good move now. So he needs to protect here. He's attacking this one. This friend, I need to untangle my pieces a bit. Hmm, not so clear how I'm going to do that. Is this, is there something here? No, not really. Maybe this is a move because of that actually. Takes, takes, takes. Cannot really take back. Because then I have this move. But maybe you can just take here. Because this is not too threatening, huh? It's not, there's not... Mm, okay, but this one hangs in the end. No, it doesn't work yet. doesn't work yet. I think I need to bring the rook into the game. Let's just do that. Okay, 
is taken because of this. Maybe I need to reroute my knight. I think that's kind of nice actually. Goes there. I think I should drop back. Question is a bit what my rook is, my, what my knight is doing here, but let's do it. Just let's add some pressure here. Maybe the queen wants, to, yeah, because here then maybe this. Hmm. Maybe it's just the wrong choice, but I didn't see clear ways on how to progress here. So I am a pawn up. But, uh, yeah. and I still have something here, right? So maybe actually this is a good move. What about this move? Now it takes, takes. Yeah, but I think I will just now get my knight over here. Could also maybe get, get this knight there. Nah. No, oh, then my knight's a bit misplaced. Takes, 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 then this pawn is just weak. Now let's just go here and here. And I think this is a good position for me. And we can reroute this knight, maybe here, here. So, okay. Almost four minutes on the clock. My opponent has 4 minutes on the clock. And this bishop is a bit out of the game, especially if I get my knight here. So that's uh, that's something to play against. Maybe I should go back. That feels that he's blocking down his own pieces a bit. I think this is a big threat. So if he goes back... Hmm, what am I doing then? Could just also play a waiting move, maybe. I think this is a good move. Mm, no, it doesn't work. Then, then this looks like a good move. Yeah, I did look at this briefly. Does it work? Maybe it does. Maybe it does, but I don't think so. I would be surprised if it works. Because I do have this move also at some point. What about this now? Not then he can take, eh? Take, take, take. Hmm, what if here? Maybe it did actually work. No, but I can move my bishop. I move my bishop. Yeah, because my knight is protected. I think I can go here. I don't want to go here. I don't want to go here either, so let's go here. And yeah, this one can just move here next, I think. And this will still end up here, this one. This one will likely go here. Yes, my pieces are a bit less coordinated now, but, uh, but that's okay. If I get a uh, 
Yeah, I got... I got a, uh, a piece for two pieces, uh, for two pawns in return. So that's... That's worth it. He goes there, yeah, then I thought maybe this... I could go here. He wants to work with this, right? That's what he wants. He likes to set up stuff. But this is also protecting him. What if I take, 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 take. I'll be very surprised if this works for him. I'll be very surprised. Take attacking the queen. Cannot go here. Set up something. It's also protected by the bishop, right? I think this one will go here. And if he ever manages to get his queen on this diagonal, then the bishop might drop back or go here. Okay. Uh, I think this is just a good move now. And yeah, the bishop goes here, protecting this. Yeah, that looks just very good for me, I think. Maybe even move like this. Although I don't think it works now, but... Maybe just offer the queen trade. He goes there. Queen trade doesn't work. But I... That is a nice move actually. Maybe I have to go here actually. That is a nice move. This is still protected for now. So I need to be mindful of this. It's also protected. So this diagonal is quite well protected. It takes like this and I will take like this. Goes there, then I think I will just take the rook. Yeah, and now this isn't clearly winning for me. Then what is? Maybe just offer the rook trade. Now that's a bit too careless. Ending here, attacking here. It's also defending here. Okay, one minute. So. I need to increase the pace. Let's just gobble up some pawns. It goes there. There, let's go here. Bring the knight into the game. Everything is very well protected. Let's go here. This is protected. Uh, let's go here. This and takes like this. Oh, 
Okay, and let's check out the analysis. I played with a 94% accuracy, like a 2300. We're getting there. I'm very happy with my play in the last uh, games. And yeah, this Sicilian looks quite nice. Like I said, you can take back with the queen or with the knight. My opponent opts for the knight and we enter a knight of which has been played many, many times. Knight C or F3 is a good move. Most more common is B3, but this is definitely a good move. And bishop to E6. I like his A4 move, but it leaves room for this knight, which might end up here. Attacking this pawn and also maybe helping the progress of the D pawn at some point. They simply hang a pawn. And yeah, now I'm better, simply. My pieces are very well developed. And I will get this pawn break in some point. And yeah, D5 was not the best move. The computer just likes to uh, castle. Yeah, and here also I was thinking about this move. I think I was talking about it. I think I have to go back and then yeah, B5 might already be horrible for me because I cannot really castle because of this move, can I? Bishop A3 and yeah, then this pawn uh, falls or C4 even is what the computer likes better. Bishop g4. Mm, okay. Okay, so yeah, c3 is a bit slow in this position. And okay, now I managed to stabilize. And this looks all good for me. Should have gone here. I was thinking about this actually. But yeah, then oh yeah, then rook has to go back. So it actually is a good move. And then a5. 97. And then I am creating some holes in my opponent's position. That would have been the better option for me, for sure. Still, queen b6 is very much preferred. Yeah, and uh, yeah, this wasn't working, because I simply can drop back. And takes... And now the knight goes here, blocking any access here. Attacking the rook as well. This was a nice move, right? And this wasn't working, because then if the takes... Takes... The rook is not defended anymore. So this will be winning for my opponent. So I had to be careful here. Queen b8. Now just trade off and I didn't even see this move but yeah I was very happy with how I stabilized here. You know putting my pieces on squares. Uh, this is also a move I was thinking about. So I think this was all good. Here I win the rook and yeah this not a nice extra attack to end the game with attacking the queen. Winning a pawn, and yeah, here I just simply drop my bishop back. And yeah, my opponent resigned in this uh, position. So, thank you so much for the game. Don't forget to like, subscribe, guys, and see you tomorrow. Bye bye.